In this tutorial I'm going to finish off the practice level of a simple ball game. If I press P to play this game, uh, you'll see that the score is displayed in the debug area in the top left hand corner. So when I score 5 points, it changes to 5. But if we look at the finished game, the score is displayed within the game. If I press P to play now and score 5 points, the text display is actually on the board and there it goes. The first thing I'm going to do is append a text display object. Let's bring in a ready-made text display from another Blender file. If you want to see how to make a text display object, see my tutorial on that. But we go to File, Append, find the file that the text display is in, go into the Object folder, and select the text display object, and click Link Append. Now I'm going to go into Default Layout. Um, is our text display object selected or not? I, to make sure, I'm going to the Outliner and clicking on Text Display. Now it's selected. And we have the location of the text display. At the moment, it's sort of in this, exactly the same place as the plane that makes the board. So I just want to make it slightly above, slightly proud of the board. So I'm just clicking this right arrow here to increase the Z position so it's slightly above the board. Now in the top view I'm going to press G to grab and move the score somewhere about there. Uh, and so that it moves with the board when we rotate the board I'm going to parent it to the board so I'm clicking parent here but you should always check before you parent that the parent object has no scale or rotation because it will uh, the child will inherit those um, it hasn't, so we're OK. So I'm going to select my text display object and parent that to the board, which at the moment is just called plain. Now that we've got our text display object in the right place, I'm going to go back to the game logic view and I'm going to have a look at the updating the score mechanism. At the moment, it's attached to an empty object which has a property score and the always here will fire a Python script update score which will update the score. So I'm going to delete the always logic brick connected to the empty and the Python controller and I'm going to select the text display object and add an always for that a Python controller connect that to update score and connect that up. Now looking at this code the only difference we need to make is that with the empty the property was called score with the text display object the property has to be called text with a capital T so we just need to change here delete score and type in text with a capital T. I obviously don't want an initial value of Fred but if I just simply change this to integer, it's not essential to do so, but a score is by nature numeric. Uh, that automatically resets that to zero. And the most important thing, or a very important thing, is to set the 3D display to textured. And then let's press start and see what happens when we score five points. We get five. Escape from that. A couple of small things to correct. I'm still displaying the old score property in the debug area, so I'm going to delete that from the empty. And I picked up a brown background from somewhere, so if you go to the world settings, uh, you can select whatever color you want for your background in the horizon color. If I pick the ink dropper, I can pick up that gray color. Back to the Blender render and start the game engine and we have a great background. That's the practice level complete. You could go on now and make harder and harder levels. 
using timers for instance you could set uh, a target score in a given time you could even put obstacles on the board different shape boards with different number of holes who knows you're only limited by your imagination files as usual at my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye